What's up, guys? Welcome to your Push and Pull Tuesdays. All right, I know the body feels some type of way, but we got to get it in so we can work that chest, work those triceps, and take that back fat off. All right, with today's workout, we're going to start with the format that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. This time, you would need a wall ball and a set of dumbbells because we're going back to incline bench press. But remember, you're using the bench that's going to be balling on a budget versus the regular standard bench at our gym. Not because we literally ball on a budget, but more so because I want to activate those uh, muscle groups that, and tendons and ligaments that we typically don't use because the bench is so supportive. This is not as supportive, which means we're going to be working muscle groups that we typically don't be working. So just in case you were wondering why, that's why. So as we get down to the ground, you have 18 minutes to get everything done. It's a total of four rounds. So incline meaning that we're going to put our shoulders blades on the uh, on the wall ball dumbbells are gonna be tucked in ladies gents don't be afraid to go heavy all right I want you to go heavy if you can go heavier than you did last week go heavier than you did last week but elbows are tucked in this time the only difference we're doing we're doing a total of 10 and we're not gonna be doing super sets of push-ups so I really want you to take advantage of going heavy so inhale as we keep our Elbows tucked in. Once you get down to your lowest peak and you're holding it, you're going to hold it for a two-second workload. 1,001, 1,002. Control. Big deep breath, tight stomach. You're controlling with your elbows tucked in. 1,001, 1,002. And lock out. So if you're doing a total of 10 reps, it should at least take 20 to 30 seconds. If you're banging these out real fast and you're done in 15 seconds, you didn't get the workload that you need. Last thing, as you're going down to that whole position, you're going to where you're working your triceps and your pecs, right? You're not going down and just pressing and leaning your triceps on the wall ball and stretching your, you know, your ligaments and tendons out in a way that you don't need to. So make sure you're controlling with your chest, shoulders pinched back, tight stomach, and then powering up. Once you complete your 10 reps, the next move you're gonna go into are the same rows we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. The only difference is we're gonna pinch our shoulders back and challenge yourself for two seconds up top. So remember, knuckles are facing up top. Don't hammer it, all right? Make sure the knuckles are facing up top. As your arms are lengthening, go to where your body challenges you. You don't need an unstable one for this week. But when you go up, remember, now is a two-second hold. 1,001, 1,002, control. Don't just drop down. Power up. Shoulder blades to pinch back. 1,001, 1,002, and control back down. You'll be doing 10 reps. So no push-ups, just the presses and pulls, two-second pauses four rounds through. Make sure after you do your bench and your rows, take a 60 to 90 second break before you get back in there. You have a lot of time to complete everything. That's going to be your strength. And then the conditioning. All you're going to need is a set of dumbbells or um, really just one dumbbell. First movement you're going to do are diamond push-ups. In the first round, all you're going to do is two diamond push-ups. Ha uh, hands form a diamond. Elbows are tucked in. You'll be doing one push-up, even if it's modified with your elbows on. Make sure your chest it's right above your palms. Two. Whenever you complete two, you will grab that dumbbell. Make sure your hips are down. You'll pull through that nice, challenging, heavy dumbbell or kettlebell. That's one. Pull through. That's two. Then you would get on the bike or the rower, the one that you choose, and you would do two calories. Guys, this is a 14-minute AMRAP. You're going to climb up that ladder as far as you can. So next round, you'll be doing <coughs> excuse me, four diamond push-ups, four pull-throughs, four calories. If it's time left on the clock, six, 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 eight, eight, eight. And you're going to get as far as you can in 14 minutes. Guys, girls, it's going to be a tough one. It's better when it's done. So let's get after it. Take a selfie. Tag us on IG. Guys, Beast Mode Games, you got two more days to register if you want to get that free athlete shirt with your package. Other than that, guys, we can't wait to see you. Take care.